so in our previous video we have already learned about uh, uh, the pass passes creation so here you can see in the identifier section uh, you have to go to the passes uh, passes id that is pass type id and create a new passes so here you will just select the pass type id and click and continue so then uh, you would be uh, doing uh, like uh, giving a brief description about the app and then give the identifier so your identifier is something like uh, the application will be using uh, your uh, the app id okay so passes followed by the app id okay so passes dot and the app id uh, that is your ios app uh, app id and that is it so you need to register like this way and then you can create uh, a certificate by clicking on uh, create certificate so here uh, what you gonna do is enter your uh, pass certificate name so uh, you can give anything uh, for, for your uh, uh, passes certificate name over here and here you can upload certificate sign-in request so in order to create certificate signing this request you need to go to the keychain okay so uh, here in your keychain um, uh, here uh, what you need to go, do is go to the apple logo and then request a certificate from the certificate authority by clicking on certificate assistant okay so that is it here you will be entering the username and the password um, username of the uh, same user of the website so you can use your developer account or your um, this account okay so you can use that same uh, and i'll here i'll be just uh, uh, typing the username of my uh, developer account and then i'll just try to save it okay so uh, then i'll just show it in finder okay so now i'll just copy and paste uh, means drag and drop the certificate from here uh, to the sign in request or you can just choose the file and select the same exact file okay and then click on continue then your uh, file is ready you can just download the uh, certificate so here you can see passes dot certificate is there when i click on it then here is the actual passes so here you can see there is the passes that is com passes dot com dot beginners app right so this is the pass uh, passes and there that is it so uh, all right so here uh, our passes is created successfully so now uh, the, your passes will look like this okay so on your on your case that is a pass and followed by your app id so now what we are going to do so this is the pass uh, passes right so what you're going to do is uh, now you will, you will create a folder name as configs in your uh, uh, new brand new asp.net controller um, that is asp.net core um, web api project okay so here uh, here i have uh, pasted the uh, pass passes p2l certificate passes over here so what you're gonna do is you have to go to uh, uh, your passes that was download just now downloaded from, from by watching my tutorial that tutorial uh, link i'll just keep in this video's link description below here i can just try to uh, export the passes here you can see i can export that is the dot p2l sorry so the same thing uh, goes over here so just uh, i'll just uh, uh, give the um, as a name as a certificate save it in desktop here you can use the some secure password for uh, uh, this one so i'll just uh, add some secure password for this so any password you can give but it should be some say some type of secure so i'll just click on okay and then uh, that file will be there in your desktop okay so now uh, what you're gonna do is uh, uh, you'll just search for the file that was just now downloaded that is uh, uh, dot, um, uh, uh, dot p2l certificate uh, that was just now downloaded so here uh, as soon as uh, the file is found let me just search it okay so this is the file you can just rename it to uh, <coughs> uh, com dot pass pass dot com dot uh faces to dot csc so uh, the same name i can just uh, provide it uh, it depends upon your use cases okay like uh, you can just rename the certificate or you, uh, you can directly use the certificate na name as certificate okay so dra drag and drop so that is it uh, on your uh, config folder and then uh, here uh, well, the, this is the second thing that we need to add that is our apple wwdrc file okay and uh, in order to do it uh, what we're gonna do is uh, we'll go to the site uh, where uh, this file is going to 
uh, be got so here um, let me go to the wwdrc uh, that is our certificate that need that needs to be added okay so here um, this link is going to help us to get that uh, certificate file that is extra certificate that we need okay so this is the g4 certificate that i am using which has a maximum version okay so this is the g4 um worldwide uh, developer relation certificate we want for creating the passes okay so i have not done anything except than this okay and um, here uh, what i have added is uh, um, i have added one plugin that is dotnet dash passbook okay so you just need to add the package on your windows machine or the mac machine okay so we can use any any uh, visual studio on those um, on those uh, systems so here uh, uh, you need to search dotnet passbook okay so add that uh, plugin so this is the plugin that uh, i have added okay add it add it to your dot net project then uh, here what i have done is uh i have not done anything over here uh extra things that is add controller add endpoints and everything is same okay and uh, uh here i have not used any any extra things over here and then uh don't worry about this file this is automatically generated okay so as soon as the application done then it will hit the controller right so if you have been uh, developing the web api project then you would be knowing about that so uh, i have already remodified this um, get controller of this uh, um, get uh, api for this web, web forecast controller so here you can see uh, actually i'll just use some breakpoints okay I'll, I'll let you know okay and uh, our main motto is to uh, give the plugin uh, implementation so here passbook generator and then passbook generator dot fields are added okay so uh, now here uh, what i have to give is the, the pass type identifier that is the identifier name that we we created uh, for the passes that is our unique identifier and in my previous video also i have already told about what is passes identifier that is pass.com dot beginners app okay or in the keychain or your uh, uh, like in my case this is the uh, pass type identifier okay so and then uh, the team identifier so team identifier can be got from the passes itself okay so get information so here uh, the organization you did it mj m7 j6 and 65 right mj7 j6 and 65 so that is it okay so this is the team identifier that is the only thing that we need it over here serial number is your own serial number anything you can add it okay and i don't think uh, anything i have to add it over here and then uh the next thing over here is uh this one so here uh uh, apple or uh, wwdrc certificate so where that certificate should be that is inside the configs folder and followed by the certificate name okay so that is inside the certificate then for the passes okay so i have the password that is set up for my passes okay so this is the pa I'm a pa pass certificate and uh, here is the password for the uh, pass certificate okay and uh, that is it and then uh, what 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 we need to do is uh, uh, now uh, like uh, if it validates if it's uh, successfully validates and this password is the same password um, that we have used whenever we were exporting the p2l certificate okay so that is what you need to understand like when i was exporting right from the keychain when i exported it then i used the same password uh, as over here okay so that is it so now uh, uh, next thing is um, the image byte creation that means now uh, our passes are re ready uh, to to be generated and uh, it will uh, get in, uh, like generated in the form of bytes and uh, the bytes can be either sent uh, sent to the api direct um, from the api okay or uh, uh, you can uh, serialize the bytes and send it to the developers or you can upload the bytes uh, to some storage uh, on the server and then uh, give the url to the developers uh, that is our clients uh, to download the uh, passes okay so as soon as i run this project let's see whether it works or not okay so weather forecast and i'll just try it out execute okay so this is how uh, everything is going to uh, go like uh, in, a, in a smooth way so here uh, the i have already created the image byte here you can see the bytes are generated and here you can see the system that i have write all bytes sample.pk pass so this is the way of generating us uh, like a inbuilt sample um, that means of uh, apple passes in order to test your, if your passes is working or not uh, then you can just open xcode app 
okay so uh, you just need the simulator to run so that uh, you can just drag and drop the passes and see uh, whether that uh, you know the, the created passes works or not so let's go to the simulator here uh, you can just create a new xcode project okay and i'll just quickly create a project okay and just keep something random name uh, okay so i'll just create a new folder and then we'll just create a new uh, create the path for the app application so here you can see here uh, i can select the iphone 14 pro max or iphone 18 pro okay so it depends upon your use case what you want okay so let it be uh, what it is and i'll just run the application by clicking over here build is uh, succeeded okay so now the x code has run successfully and simulator is running so here you can see the application should run right now but we don't want the application to run we just want wallet app to work okay so this is the wallet app and now the uh, the file that we have created is sample.pk path so in finder and then we'll just drag and drop it over here okay so now you can see uh, our uh, passes are successfully created that is it so uh, this is how we're gonna create uh, apple passes on the uh, asp or net core um, uh, back inside so that's all for this tutorial now thank you guys thanks for watching keep in touch for our next tutorials